Hey. So something people always talk about is being addicted to breastfeeding. So I thought I'd talk about eating disorders and breastfeeding. Um, now, those who know me well um, knows that since about the age 11, I have had some form of an eating disorder um, and have had lots and lots of treatment over the years. And when I did start to breastfeed over a year, um, people did question health visitors and whatnot whether it was to do with my eating disorder. Um, now, I won't lie, like there's certain moments where you do worry that when you stop breastfeeding that you will put on weight. Um, <laughs> Charles. Um, <laughs> that you will put on weight. Um, so whilst that I think is a fear for a lot of mums is how their body will change. Um, but I think your body changes in so many different ways anyway when you become a mum, whether or not your breastfeed um, things change a lot from pregnancy um, and also from breastfeeding as well. It's not all um, positive on your body. Um, but I do find the argument that I could be addicted to it um, a bit extreme. Um, I think anyone who knows what it's like to breastfeed knows how challenging it can be. Um, and yet yeah, that maybe there are, there is a certain element and I think some mums do fear giving it up because you worry about the bond um, with your child um, the nutrition side of it um, also ending a special relationship I think can be quite difficult um, and I know some mums talk of feeling almost bereft after giving up breastfeeding um, and I think because it is such a difficult journey um, emotionally breastfeeding is that obviously it's hard when journeys come to an end even with even if it's a positive end it's still difficult um and yeah so i think it's people like to put big labels on it with breastfeeding everyone's jazz <laughs> everyone's got something to say when it comes to breastfeeding but i think the biggest thing we can do is support a mum's choices whatever they may be um, and it's also worth knowing that whilst in this country we say breastfeed exclusively for six months food is fun until they're one and actually the World Health Organization says that ideally you should breastfeed from two years and beyond and continue to do so as long as it's right for you and your child um, so yeah, that's another label that I'd like to shake <coughs> off. I'll see you later.